Hey, hi everybody. Um, I am going to give you guys a walkthrough uh, in this tutorial on how to render an image, uh, an animation specifically. So we're, we're looking at animations here. I'm going to go ahead and use a cinematic text animation project as my example here. But the primary focus is to show you how to render an animation, turn it into a video, and then to upload that video into Google Drive and in, set the share settings, which is really important. A lot of people miss that step and then insert it into the portfolio. So kind of the whole turn in process from rendering to getting it into your portfolio. That's what we're looking at today. So here I've got uh, um, 120, 130, looks like 130 frame uh, c cinema text animation. So we can hit play here. Right now we're just in the render view with overlays turned off. So that's kind of the animation here. So um, when we go to animate, you need to make sure you've got your camera. You're looking at your, your, your render here. You can actually flip the camera on so you can see what you're gonna, you know, what it's gonna look like. And um, the main thing is uh, if you go to your camera icon in your properties panel that it is set to EV. we're using EV. Uh, if you really wanna get some nice light effects, you can use ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space, but that's particular to this project. The really important piece here is the output. If you click on the little printer icon, you wanna make sure that you're in frame. My animation uh, goes up to frame 130, so my in frame is 130. You don't want any dead frames after that necessarily. I mean, a few is okay, but you don't wanna have another second or two of nothing. Um, set your frame rate at 24 or 30. Um, and then this is really important here. You have to click the little um, icon here, the folder icon. Uh, it's gonna open up another window uh, and you want to make sure to direct your your output, your video, uh, into a folder where you can find it. So I have mine going into a uh, text animation folder here. So I'm going to accept that. Um, you can leave all the defaults here uh, as far as file extension. File 4, let me expand this a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. And the bottom right here, this defaults normally to PNG, which is going to be a series of images. And you don't want that. You want to go into file format. Click that little arrow, go up to movie, and we've been using AVI JPEG, uh, which creates a video. Okay, so it strings all the pictures together for us. It usually defaults to like 90% or something, so you can you can uh, max that out at 100%. So now we're, we've got our output good, um, all set, or our settings are good. Um, we've got the EV render engine. We've got no dead frames over here. It goes up to 130 and kind of ends, and so now we're ready to render our animation. It's always good to save at this point, so I'm going to go up to file. And click save and then if you come up to the render menu up here you can click render and we're using render animation so i'm going to click render animation this process is going to go frame by frame uh, and render out an image for each frame i have 130 frames so it will render 130 images uh, and you can keep track of the real time up here i'm at frame 16 18. so i'm going to end the tutorial fast forward uh, to the end of this process and um, we will pick up there. Okay, so we can see up here we hit frame 130, fast forwarded. Um, it does not give you any indication it's done, which can be a little confusing. You just kind of have to go look um, for the file here. So let's go see if we can't take a look for it. I'm opening up a file explorer. I'm gonna head into my documents and go into my Blender. I believe I saved it into my cinematic text animation folder. And we can see here, this is the file that was just rendered. Uh, so sin, sort for cinematic text render, um, period one, and it's 0001 to 0130. It, it appends that, those are the frames. So that is a video, you can click on it um, to get it to run. So there we go. And it looks like it rendered. So now we're ready to turn it in. Okay, so this process here involves us getting this uh, file right here, uh, the AVI file, that's our video file. You can see it's got kind of a big um, file size over here. We wanna get that into, we wanna get that into Google Drive. So uh, let's, let me show you if I, if I go into Google Drive uh, and anywhere in my Google Drive, I've got lots of folders here, but, um, but let's just drag this over here Okay, let's see if we can drag this over here. So we're gonna grab that file and we're gonna drop it kind of in the white space here up here at the top so it doesn't go in a specific folder, it's just gonna go into my drive. And you see it's blue there, let's expand this 
So down in the lower right, you can see that, that it's uploading. So that's great. We got the file uploading into Google Drive. Remember, if you're using the Horizonware software, you need to make sure to be doing this on the remote machine, going into Google on the remote machine, you know, dropping the file into Google Drive through that remote machine. Um, it's going to take a little bit to upload this uh, this file here. And so um, once it's uploaded, the key part that a lot of students sometimes miss is that you need to set the share. Um, so you can right click. We may have to go find the file here. I've got a lot of files in here. Let's just do a search for CIN and see if it comes up. There we go. We've got this guy right here. So. Uh, let's right click and we can see here's our file here. So notice that in our directory here, this file, uh, there's no little people icon like this. It's not been shared yet. So it has to be shared in order for your, me, your teacher to see it. So um, if you come in here and you right click on the file, you can go to share. And what you'll see is it says restricted here. Um, I won't be able to see it, okay? So um, you can add me up here, I suppose. So you could put in Roberts underscore Devin, uh, and you could put me in that way. Uh, but really, um, what I encourage everybody to do is just to click the change link, and instead of going to restricted or Anchorage, to go to anyone with the link, and this should stay say view. So anyone with the link can view. That's what we're looking at right here. That's what we need. So that will allow me to actually see your video once you put it into your portfolio. Now let me go into uh, my example portfolio. And I'll have to go create a slide for this. This is um, the project I'm modeling right now is the cinematic text animation. And uh, so I believe that was like activity four point, I want to say 4.3, 4.4 4 .4 it looks like. But let me go ahead and create a new slide. And we don't need anything other than the title box up here, activity. 4.4 cinematic text animation. And once you have a title and the activity number up here, you can go up to insert and choose video. Uh, when this pops up, you're gonna wanna go to Google Drive, click Google Drive, and it'll most likely be the most recent file. You can just select that file and click select. And it's gonna insert it here and we'll see video playback. It'll play for you if you don't have it shared uh, to me, but I just can't see it unless it's shared. So that's why it's so important in Google Drive to make sure that when you go um, and find the file, it's got you've changed it, so it's got that little share link. So that's the thing I really want to highlight um, is that you're gonna right click on that, go to share, and make sure that the link says anyone on the internet with this link can view. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, reach out uh, if you've got any questions uh, via email inbox, um, and uh, I'll help you out. So thanks for your time and attention, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.